Deathstroke Inc. Issue 5, Joshua Wilson writing with uh, Paolo uh, Pantalina on the art. So mm-hmm. uh, this was just you, Matt, so go for it. Go yeah, for it. so uh, this book keeps, like, originally I was hesitant because it's Deathstroke, but it's Williamson. Oh, and then you added Black Canary. I don't know what this book's doing anymore because it just seems like it's making up as it goes. Um, the art isn't by Howard Porter, like, like Pete said, but it's very much in that style. It has those hard lines, but it, I know Connor's not a big fan of Howard Porter. I like Howard Porter and certain stuff. This artist, I don't know if this is their normal look or they're emulating it, but there's some, like, we always talk about the Clayton Henry heads. Um, now we have uh, Pantalena heads to go with it uh, because <laughs> this opening page with Black Canary she looks like the the Mars Attacks girl, think, if you remember. Um, Pantalena, I think, did a bunch of issues of Red Hood when I was being forced to read okay. that. So, so then you're, you're kind of aware. Of I, the, I described, I, I remember describing it as not Kenneth Rockefort. Yeah, that's along those lines, too. It's actually probably closer to Rockefort than it is to Porter, but it has the heavy line work and the same kind of color work. So, and I, I think, I really think they're trying to emulate the the style but mm. um it starts with with deathstroke who's who's you know dying in and canary in the the negative zone um where the crooked house from prometheus is and um she canary screams at slade to get up he wakes up and she's like i thought you had a healing factor. She's like i do but it you know sometimes it takes to kick in especially in a place like this which is toxic and he says that he's been there before because he's worked with Prometheus, but, he, you know, he made it clear that he didn't like working with him, but he's familiar with the house. So they, they get into the crooked house um, and there ends up being two doors, one with a canary on it, one with Deathstroke's, you know, face on it. And they go through the doors and then it splits. Um, so for a little bit, we're kind of getting two two different stories going on and in Deathstroke, he ends up in almost like this medieval kind of armor. Um, and his eye is fixed and he's in a place that looks like Titans tower with the teen Titans and Rose and, um, and, uh, Jericho, um, who can talk. And so everything seems like it's there. And then his other son, Grant is alive who he hugs, uh, and then he, you know, that's when he realizes that there's something that, that's not quite right. Uh, as he's uh, going through that door, Canary goes through another one where she's also looking like in a medieval kind of vibe where she looks like the 80s version of herself with the the kind of headband style mask, but in a full, like, cape and, and the... Um, Fishnets look more like armor stuff, and it looks like they're Nanda Parvat, and uh, Ollie's there, he's missing an eye, he's afraid of her, um, and her mom's there, and she is the, which canary? Uh, the red canary, and it looks like they're kind of this evil dynasty with all the other Arrow characters, uh, and it starts to go stuff? sideways for her. You, um, I zoned out for a minute and I just I heard Evil I, Dynasty with Arrow characters and I'm like, what? Yeah, I did tell I was like the Red Canary with Evil Dynasty. Like, yeah. I'm like, I read all the issues except this one. What the hell happened? Yeah, exactly. So uh, for for her, she realizes it's wrong because they're all bad. And then Slade realizes it's wrong because everything's too good. You know, Grant's alive. Jericho can talk. He has his eye back. Rose is talking to him. Um, and... The Grant and the Red Canary, this is where the, the page kind of merges. Uh, and it says, this is the life you should have had. And they both charge. Um, they realize that none of this is real. Um, and it's all from trust. And so they end up there, keep charging through this house. And Libra's there and says that this was a test. Trust is all about balance. That's what Libra's about. The original Libra was her brother. And that they want them to be part of the trust council um, because there's one hero, one villain, and this is how they're going to operate going forward. And she brings them into the trust council 
where you just see a bunch of people standing in shadow and Slade's like, I've had enough of this. I have seen this before. Um, there's another word for a cancel. It's the society. And he knocks down uh, the shadow inducer to reveal around this round table. You got uh, Count Vertigo, the monocle, Phobia, Dr. Moon, Dr. Destiny, the calculator sitting at the head of the table. Deadline, Prometheus, Tattooed Man, Shrapnel, and Body Doubles. Um, in that these villains got together because the Legion of Doom uh, basically cut them out and they decided, the uh, calculator decided that they almost destroyed the world. How are we going to have something to make money off of if there's no world? So he's like, you know, you don't need that kind of money or power. You just need money because money buys power. And so that's what trust is meant to be is, you know, these societies that they're going to, um, you know, the calculator says, my calculation showed that we're a hero and villain working together would give us the best results. We can't handle another round of our peers teaming with giant space gods. This may be, uh, we can just protect our interests and, you know, get rich. So it's weirdly a group of villains getting together to make sure that Luther doesn't pull the same kind of stuff he had before. Um, it calculator takes credit for all of this to when Slade pulls out his gun and shoots him right in the head and then shoots Libra in the chest. Wait, calculator's dead again? Yep. Um, which makes me think this isn't calculator, given what Pete said in Flash. Mm. Uh, granted, I don't know when any of this is taking you know, place. Given that it's Williamson, though, I'm pretty sure he's aware. I feel like Williamson stuff would take precedent get yeah. at, at the moment, right? Right. Mm. So calculator gets shot, Libra gets shot. Dinah's completely confused. He's like, why? He's like, well, you heard him. He kicks Slade out of the head of the table. He goes, they're all scared. They're looking for a leader. And look at this. I'm going to be king of uh, of the supervillains. And then he goes and sits on a throne. The, the calculator's sitting out at the head of the table. And he goes, and I, it's going to be I remember me. seeing that image of uh, King Deathstroke. Yep. And, and that's where it ends. In this book, I what started off as, oh, this is going to be a fun Deathstroke book. To, oh, you get Canary too? Okay. Um, now we have Evil King Deathstroke, and given the fact that this is in the Crooked House still, and this is where Trust Council has set up all their their thing, I don't know how much of this is actually happening, right? This could all just be probably none, right? But the fact that it ends with Slade killing Calculator and Libra, and completely, you know, again, this book's called Deathstroke Inc. So maybe this is kind of the the prologue to the full on story. Well, well, we thought this book was going to be like a, a pseudo sequel to the the priest stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that death strokes that he was saying up. Complete opposite of it. Um, this is completely banana pants. I wouldn't say it's a must read, right? And like, because it be is so in flame. insane, right? But like, I didn't hate reading it. It is really out there, and I have no idea where it's going. Um, uh, it's got about two issues to get there before it's wrapped up in a big crossover with Batman. Yeah, so we'll we'll see how this all plays out. Um, the art wasn't wasn't much for me. Now that Connor pointed out, it's, it's AKA not Rockefort. Sorry, um, but I had to I had to get through months of that. So that's okay. Um, yeah, man. So again, it's not a must read. I'm gonna keep reading it, right? Because I have to see what the hell Williamson's doing. It seems like he's having just the most fun because it almost feels like he's just playing with house money. Like, he can kind of do whatever he wants. Like, we've been in a, a kingdom of cheetahs. Um, we had some weird nightmare scenario with a queen canary and Deathstroke and all this stuff. Uh, and there's only issue five. Like, the, Deathstroke's uh, been to space. Well, I'm going to call it now. This issue peaked in issue three when, De when Deathstroke was riding a unicorn. Yeah, uh, Deathstroke rode a unicorn. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep reading it, but um, this is a seven. Uh, you know, it's it, it, not for everyone. The art's definitely not for everyone, but it's just crazy enough to work. <laughs>